Uh, I say, I don't know, we have like the same like type of personality, man. We just want to win, like not even like a game, like a whole, like every rep. So I mean, I try to make it to where it's not just him; it's the whole receiver core, like whoever I go against, man. Just trying to win every single rep, and ultimately, not not just for my benefit, it's for just to help the team. Because you know, if I perform well, you know that, like. That competitiveness, you know, kind of just helps the team just kind of compete. And, you know, I just, you know, I, I, I mean, I love that. I love competing, man. I just want to win, like I said. So it just, honestly, it's just trying to maximize my potential to help this team win. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like this elite group of receivers, man, they, they, they push me every single day, man. It's no, it's no taking days off. Always uh, going at me, always talking trash. But at the end of the day, I really respect those guys because off the uh, outside the white line, they just like as humble as could be, man. They always try to give me pointers and help me, you know, just elevate my game. So you know, I couldn't, I couldn't be more grateful for those guys. Um, like I said, like between those white lines, we go hard, like we go at it, like we don't play on the same team. But like outside of the you know, the white line, he's always trying to, like, give me game of you know, how, how I could, you know, take care of my body, how, what, what makes him, um, what makes him comfortable, what makes him confident, you know, things like that, just to help enhance my game. So, you know, I couldn't be more grateful. You know, he's just like a big brother I never had, you know, and I appreciate that. Hey, how do you balance, though, playing with an edge across the board? Because I know it's got to be especially tough now that we're passing. Right, right, right. Um, honestly, shoot. <laughs> it comes with, uh, I guess it comes with self-control, honestly. Uh, just trying to just be more uh, mentally tough right now than physically tough uh, because, you know, these, I have to take care of my teammates. So, uh, I don't know, man. I just, just got to come down to just, just controlling your, your mental, I guess. I just try to be a sponge and just soak up everything, uh, everything I see and everything he tells me. Honestly, uh, you know, I'm a big. I try to listen and also apply. Like, cause a lot of people just listen and just like forget about what they say. But like, honestly, I just try to take whatever he teaches me and just try to apply it um, on the field and to help me be a, become a better player. Um, you know, it's kind of. I know it's kind of difficult for him because he's you know rehabbing and things like that. But he's been a heck of a role model, you know, for me. So. <laughs> nah, man, I just try to be myself, honestly. Um, you know, I, I, when I came here, I was just so so grateful that, uh, you know, the Bills just, like, drafted me. So, you know, I just wanted to give, just give my all and never take it for granted. So uh, I think that's where it comes from, man. Uh, nah, I mean, if you ask anybody, man, that's always how I've been. I just want to win. Like, not the game. I want to win every single rep. So uh, it don't matter who I'm going against. So that's just who I am. So I don't think I changed just because I got drafted. That's just who I've always been. Knowing your, knowing your style, even if trade doesn't come, uh, is it ready for the service? Is that further or spur your preparation more than going the opposite? Nah, man. I just like when I first got to the University of Florida as a freshman. I don't. I didn't think of myself as a freshman. I always thought of myself preparing to start and preparing to be elite. So that's my same mindset when I'm here. Like I'm trying to prepare, um, just to be ready when my my, my name is called. So that's my biggest thing, uh, honestly. So, so, so should we refer to you as a rookie, or do you consider yourself a rookie in that sense? No, nah, I don't like to be called a rookie. I just like to be called. A, Whatever, however I perform, <laughs> that's that's what I would. I mean, I, I am a rookie technically, but and my, my mindset is I'm I'm gonna be ready when my numbers call. That's so, that's my mindset. In light of all that, how prepared you for understanding that you know when the second is your adjustment to the NFL, uh, how are you? Um, I 
feel comfortable out there. Honestly, I'm getting getting comfortable every single day. I'm out there. Um, you're really just trying to listen and apply to what my coach is telling me. Coach Coach Butler, he's a heck of a coach. Um, all he preaches is technique for me um, and fundamental. So that's something I, you know, I just want to enhance in my game. And I mean, I, the, the attributes, you know, I think I have to, you know, try to be physical. You know, I mean, fast, you know, long. But like, I feel like the fundamentals and technique will take me a long way. So that's what I'm trying to add to my game. Kind of share some ideas or get some, I don't know, have there been yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, their biggest thing for me is just to never lose my confidence and just to be out and go out there and, and try to just ne and always compete. You know, that's that's what I try to bring to the table. Like, you know, there's gonna have your. T I'm human, so I'm gonna make some mistakes. I'm not gonna always win every single rep, but for them, it's just like just go out there and compete your behind off, and and, and you know. Uh, my hard work and dedication, it, it, like plays will come. But for now, just you know, just go out there and just go hard. Uh, I don't think he was that. He wasn't. He mean, he wasn't nervous or anything, because he know like you know I take this serious and I don't take it for granted. So he was just like just. I mean, I was already becoming a, a man, but now it's just like I am the man. So it's just like. <laughs> never lose my edge, you know, just keep staying humble, keep getting God first and, and everything else will work out for itself. So. You've got information coming from a lot of directions, you know, receivers, quarterbacks, everyone like giving advice on that. How do you make sure it's not too much keep things calm and it could be a lot of what some of the things Yeah, for sure. I mean like I said, just staying level headed, but also like trust but verify like if somebody tells me something, go research it or go like ask somebody else just to make sure, you know, that's the right information. Because like uh, everybody can tell you a lot of different things, but, you know, um, just having trusty resources to back it up with, I mean, that's, that's kind of what I try to do too. I, I know it's different positions technically, but how much can you lean on Jordan and Micah in this defense and their knowledge and playoff? Right? Oh, man, they, they are like the big brothers I never had. They like... Those two guys are alpha males, man, and and I'm always just trying to like I'm sitting next to them, man. I just try to just listen and just <laughs> just apply, like, cause they have so much knowledge and, and, and they have so much confidence to the point like they out there just playing without even thinking sometimes. So it's just like I couldn't be more grateful just to hear those guys back there behind me and just make sure I know like I can trust them. So it's just I'm just trying to earn their trust now at this point. I'm just trying to do more of that, man. <laughs> I mean, I don't really, I don't, I'm not really, I don't try to live in the past, man. I'm just trying to just keep keep it going, make more plays, be more physical, and just be a heck of a teammate. Yeah. How I don't think there's any conference better than the SEC. Um, big, fast, physical, you know, uh, no better conference than SEC. But, you know, just coming from the SEC, I don't think I'm better than anybody. You know, I think it helped prepare me, but also I don't think that puts me over the edge of anybody else because, you know, it's all about what you do next, not what you did in the past. So. Um, it's way better than college. <laughs> it's way better than college, but uh, honestly, I would say like just the, the the margin for error, um, because you know Josh is elite, Gabe's elite, Isaiah's elite, Stefan's elite. So like the timing and, and getting in out of your break, like the ball is like right there. So like just the margin for error, like there's no time for slip ups and late movements and false steps. So I think that's really the big difference from college. No, nah, not at all. Yeah. He's one of one. He's one of a kind. Yeah, going against them, you know, these, this last week or so here at camp, what's happening? He's getting me so much better, man. Because, like, like I said, I can't afford a false step or bad eyes or, or just like, 
you know, bad leverage because he's going to take advantage of it. And he's, he's the best quarterback I've ever seen in my life, man. So, like I said, I mean, God makes no mistakes, and I'm, I'm meant to be here, and he's just getting me better, hopefully, you know, for me to go have a great season. Watching him throw those back shoulders to Davis and Davis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there was a couple times where you were perfect. I don't know that you could have done much more, and it's, they still completed. Yeah. Does that get frustrating at all? How do you make sure that you just, just kind of ride it? Yeah, at first, uh, yeah, I was, yeah, I was frustrated because it's like, like I said, I just want to win every single rep. So, like, I got to take a few deep breaths and be like, all right, Kyrie, like, that's some stuff, man. Just perfect ball. You just got to keep competing. Like my dad said, like, I, I called my dad, like, the, after the, like, the first couple of days, they kept hitting me on it. It was just like, just keep competing. Like, I mean, you can improve, always can improve your technique, but you're a pro now. Like, you can't, you can't expect, you, you can always strive to win every single rep, but it's not going to be the case. So just keep, keep competing and never lose your edge. So. How tough, how tough was, or, or maybe, maybe not how tough, but how much did it take for you to swallow that to accept that? I love to compete, so, and I love to win first and foremost, so it's kind of hard all the time, man. But like I said, when I called my dad, he told me, like, you just, like, just keep competing, like, just work to improve your technique, and with Coach Butler, man, he just he's always trying to trying to um, make sure I play with proper technique and fundamentals. So um, he he just makes sure that uh, that's my main focus right now. You know, because the plays will come, like he said, but playing with better uh, technique and fundamentals would uh, will help me, you know, make plays in the future. But as of right now, just I just got to keep keep competing, never lose my edge. Two more. They're monsters. They're monsters. Uh, yeah, they're freaks. Uh, our first string and second string and third string, they, they just come rolling in and they just are monsters. I, that's the only word I can explain. Like, they just get after it. Thank you, guys.